Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Brad, vlogging the name Investing Doc. I started up my own private practice, now I have five of us working with me, and today I want to talk a little bit about how much money does it take to start up your own practice. Even if you're not considering necessarily today starting up your own practice, maybe you were like me and wondering how much money does it cost to start up your own practice? How hard is it to start up your own practice? The first thing we need to talk about is the location and space that you're going to practice out of. I've posted before on other websites that I think you should sublease, keep costs extremely low, but let's say you go against that advice and you decide to go out and rent your own place from scratch. In pretty much all of my calculations, I'm going to calculate a six month runway, meaning that you're going to have six months of financials in the bank, assuming you're not going to make any money for that first six months. And that's how I'm going to total up the amount of money that I'm going to give you today. All right, step number one, go to LoopNet. That's basically the red fin of commercial real estate and how much rentals cost. There you can find out how much the going rate is. Let's say in my area, it's about $40 per square foot per year. My first clinic space was only about 900 square feet, but that was extremely small. Let's say we double that to 1500 square feet. Let's say you go against my advice and you rent a 1500 square foot space. 1500 square feet times $40 per year is $60,000. Divide that by two for a six month runway and there you have $30,000. The next step that you'll have to do is the licensing and the legal requirements. Now I'm assuming here that you already have a state license. If you don't, you'll have to add that on to it. I paid my lawyer exactly $1,000 to set up my LLC and everything exactly the way I needed it to. And I paid about another $1,000 in occasional questions with the lawyer and other expenses along the way to set it up for legal fees. I know there are ways to do it cheaper, but $2,000, I'd prefer not to skimp on it. I paid a lawyer, an expert. He gave me a wonderful packet on everything I needed to start up. Totally worth it in my opinion. I'll link his name below, Jim Kelso. But all right, $2,000 for this category. The next one is equipment and supplies. And this is gonna be the biggest question mark for any of you guys out there. Because if you're a surgeon, or let's say you need a C arm, that's gonna to be totally beyond whatever I'm gonna quote here. Exam tables from McKesson are about $1,250 a piece. Let's say you're gonna get four of them, that's about $6,000 in exam tables. You'll need a computer for you and the front staff. Let's go big on it, $1,500 per computer and the other peripherals that you'll need, $3,000 for those. You want a really good printer and scanner to copy license and insurance information, $400 was ours. We bought our EKG machine secondhand on eBay for about 450 bucks, I rounded up to $500. And then the other miscellaneous fees, let's say we needed some lidocaine, some business cards. I looked back at my financials, I spent about three grand on this. All right, staffing and payroll. If you're starting from scratch, you can get by with just one staff member. That staff member in my area, about $25 per hour is what the going rate is. That's about $2,000 a week. Now as an employer, you're gonna have the employer tax, which is basically just FICA and certain other insurances and other things you're gonna have to have this employee. I have found that if you estimate 20% above whatever you're paying the staff member, that that about equates to whatever you're giving them in taxes and benefits. 20% of 2,000 per week, $2,400 a week. We do all of our bookkeeping through QuickBooks. That's only about $300 a year, that's pretty minimal. Technology and IT infrastructure. Internet's cheap, that's like $100 a month. Then we needed a modem, router, switch. We needed some security cameras and everything. For that, I got everything through Unify and I spent about four grand on that. I think it's totally worth it. It was super easy to set up to where I didn't even need a tech guy or gal to help me out there. Our EMR, our medical record, is only about five or $600 a month. And that's a pay as you go. So that is just a monthly fee, which is pretty nominal overall. The next one, marketing and branding. This is one where I was really stupid and I would advise not to do what I did. I literally spent $0 on marketing. This is embarrassing, but I didn't even have my name on the door for the first five months while we were operating. I'm not even kidding. We didn't have our name on the building. We didn't have our name on the door. People would walk into the suite number, finding us on Google Maps and say, uh, is this where the clinic is at? Cause it doesn't say anything on here. I cringe thinking back about that, but honestly, at the same time, I think about, hell, I didn't even have my name on the door, didn't have my name on the building. And I still became a huge success, in my opinion, with what I'm doing. So don't do what I did. I would definitely pay the money put your sign on the door, do some marketing expenses, set aside, let's say a thousand, two thousand dollars a month, two thousand is probably overkill, but let's say a thousand dollars a month in marketing and other expenses to get your names out there, do the business cards, get the pins. The next cost is malpractice insurance. In my state, cheaper than you think, full-time plan, $5,500 a year, that's it. If you add all this up, let's be generous. It's a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars that we're talking about here. That's for a six month runway, assuming that you make no money. 
Now I did locums the entire time. I didn't have this runway for sure. I think the way that you could do it is say, what is your extra income, especially if you're working and then minus what your expected six month runway is gonna be and then maybe have that saved up. So that might only be 20 or $30,000, especially if you're doing locums jobs on the side. But as you can see, if you do it smart, even if you do the micro practice and sublease from someone, which is gonna be less expensive, I think you'll find that the startup costs are way less than you think, unless you need surgical equipment or heavy equipment such as an MRI, CT scanner, that's when things get expensive. And that is where you're gonna to have to tack on the extra fees. Hope you guys enjoyed today's post. See y'all next week.